Hey, hey, man. Thank you for tuning in. We have an easy go TXT here. Electric. Um, the rear end is leaking oil. You can see the rear end leaking oil. That's coming from the pan itself. <clears throat> Let me start by saying this, man. I'm about, to, I'm about to take the pan off and um, reseal it before I start the video because I'm not going to show the video of how to put oil in. This is your plug here that you put oil in. Get you a container, hose, and I normally just take it and squeeze the oil bucket in there because it only holds 12 ounces of oil. So really all the oil sits in this channel here. But all right, man, I'm going to show you how to fix the rear end gasket that's leaking. Uh, first of all, you're going to need a 13-millimeter socket. Um, I use the impact gun, DeWalt, 20-volt. You don't have to use this. I don't care if you use a ratchet or whatever. It don't matter to me. Whatever is easier for you, whatever you got. And then we use Permatex. Uh, I like using this kind here because you just push that thing over and almost like some um, stuff you put on your house, a foam that expands, a triple expanding foam. I like this because it's pretty pretty simple. All right, man, let's, let's get the video started. What you want to do? And the way you tell where the oil, the oil is coming from, a lot of times up here the motor will leak out the input shaft. So always go to your highest point on the rear end, and that's where you see where it's leaking from. And you see we got two, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. All right, there's ten bolts. There's ten bolts in the oil pan. All right. Then let me get a screwdriver. I'll show you how to get it off. I'm back, man. Sorry about that. I had to get, had to get a screwdriver. What you gonna do? Take a screwdriver, put it between the lip here. All right. And you want to take it and kind of twist it off. All right. And you can see. See the oil sits in the channel there. All right. Then what I normally do now is um, sometimes, man, you'll see the rear end pan here is kind of dented in and you hit bumps and stuff. What you could do is take your hammer and lay it on the ground like this and hit the pan on the ground with something solid so it straightens that out. But what I'm gonna do is take a razor blade. Be careful, man, don't cut your finger. 
and you scrape, you scrape the whole gasket off. And for the people that are going to complain about the video or at the beginning of it shaky, well, guess what? All you got to do is watch another video. Go watch somebody else's, man. I do this to help people out, not to hear people bitch. But of course, y'all have got somebody that complains about fucking somebody. All right. I'm not trying to be rude, man, but it is what it is. You don't like it? I really don't give a shit. All right, man. Sorry, rant's over. All right, let me just clean that, and scratch it up real good, get all the stuff off. All right, and the same thing here. Take the gasket here and scrape it off. Same thing done to the top. You can see this thing here been leaking for a while, man, because it might have had three or four ounces of oil, really. You got it all cleaned out. So then you want to just keep scraping all the gasket off. Or you can take a wire brush because it's metal and clean it that way. But uh, I'm not getting back up and going into the toolbox to get it. So I'm going to do it like this. But the main thing is whenever you put the silicone on the pan, put a bead in the middle. Because I have seen it before where you put the silicone in there and it gets inside the gears. That makes a little noise. You would think that the gears would eat the silicone up. But that's how it is sometimes. Just remember, it only holds 12 ounces of oil. Electric rear ends, we use 85, 90, zero. And what the oil does as you spin it, it kind of travels up the gears and gets to the input shaft bearing, which is the highest bearing up there. It's always the last one to get lubricated. That's why sometimes you hear a little roaring sound on your car. And make sure you get all your gasket out of there. And then what I'm gonna do, wherever I hit, where I put the screwdriver at, I pry it on it, which is right there. I always lay it back on the ground flush like this. And take my hammer and beat that. Beat that side back down where you pry that where it's flat. If you wanted to, you can take the carburetor cleaner in here. If you're old, dirty, take the carburetor cleaner and, and, and clean it out. And now, like I said, in order to put oil back in, what you want to do is pull this, pull this bolt out. So once you get it up there, it looks about maybe a 7 eighths, 15 sixteenths. You're gonna take your silicone. Put it in the middle around the bolt, just put it around the bolt.
All right, just like that. Take this bad boy. Stick her up there, son. Everything works better when it's lubricated. Put a bolt in here. Now what I normally do is just take them. I, I, I don't torque them down. I just take it and then, well, damn, the wrong way. Put it like that, just something, just something to hold her up. You put your bolts in on the third bolt. Fourth bolt. Fifth bolt. Six. I know y'all. I know y'all boys surprised. I can count to ten, but I got this. Seventh bolt. Eighth bolt. And of course, I've lost one. Here it is. Yeah, what I like to do, man. I like to tighten it in a sequence. I turn my gun down to one, or maybe two. Just go that. Like like you do any gasket, man. Just go around and work your way down. And once I do that, I just go around. Just remember, you're screwing in, you're screwing into aluminum, so you don't want to break them. So I put my legs. I got my gun on too. Simple as that, boys. Another job done, and I made a damn mess. I should have waited till it dried. I should have waited till it dried. All right, we'll wait till it dries before you clean it off. Or you'll have a mess like I just had. And then, like I said, to take the bolt out. I'm not going to show you a video of that because I'm going to have to get up and go get some oil in the back. But just take the bolt out here. 7 8 15, 7 8 to 15 16. Screw it out. Squirt it up in there. We use like a gear oil container because it's got a nozzle. It's got a, like a little uh, something like this on there. So you kind of stick it up in there and squeeze it like 12 ounces, no more. Any more than that, you build up pressure. And it blows out the seal on the, on the sealed bearing, or if you got a seal in, on the input shaft, depending on what type of easy go you have, um, you blow that out. 12 ounces, no more, man. All right, man, stay tuned, man. Appreciate you watching.